All right, so today we're going to look at Jack Irons, the Steel Cowboy by Cody Fernandez, which I discussed in my short video the other day. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out on my YouTube channel, which uh, the link will be in the description along with my other places that I post content. So you can uh, take a look at that, Odyssey. I'd appreciate if you guys would follow me on Odyssey or subscribe to me on Facebook. Or both, whichever you prefer to do. However, let's press on. So uh, this is Jack Irons, The Steel Cowboy, Volume 1. I've had a chance to kind of flip through the art on the campaign a little bit. I, I cheated. Just a little bit. And I wanted to wait to watch this video, but I was having some technical issues last night. So I cheated a little bit there too. Because <laughs> I needed to sort out some issues with uh, the quality that the stream was recording in and I realized that it was just the output resolution was too small uh, with respect to the uh, base canvas resolution which normally isn't an issue so much in gaming but when you're trying to read text and stuff it was just coming out too fuzzy and I don't like it and you guys wouldn't have been able to read it and it would have made it hard to follow along so I managed to work all of that out, I believe, and then I was messing with my mic a little bit prior to the stream because it uh, looks like I'm picking up a little bit of noise, but I did a quick test. Seems okay, but uh, we'll muddle through it. Not going to go on the all the backstory, but I had to do uh, redo some system uh, things recently, so that's just where we are. But let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into this video. I do really like this art. This would make a cool shirt or trading card. Just, you know, food for thought. Howdy, folks. I'm Cody with Ironverse Comics. Bringing and this video is the best actually about a the minute Space long West. and the last We're bit of We're proud to be on Kickstarter for the art. first time, offering a hardcover collection of issues one through three of Jack Irons, the Steel Cowboy. Jack Irons, the Steel Cowboy. And Cody, follow your room, bro. A reincarnated immortal. His journey really, I'm mainly messing with to you. find freedom and purpose in Galactic Armageddon. This journey is opposed by the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and their goals to remake reality in their image. I like how they're flipping the art over here in the right hand support side. Us on this. I wish and that you'll that check out everything we put out so far slower. and uh, judge the project based on uh, because honestly, our it's a little bit. This is our first rodeo with a uh, crowdfunding, and we're happy to offer our work on a new platform. I hope you'll give us a shot, and I am uh, very excited to uh, hear from you. Uh, you can reach out to us at ironversecomics at gmail.com. You can Look at follow art. us I mean, art looks really on good. YouTube, we're gonna get more Ironverse that Comics. Here. You can check us a out little bit on ironversecomics.com for free reads, later, merch, I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. 30 and, seconds or so. Uh, we are uh, hopeful you'll join us on this journey. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope we're offering something you'll enjoy. Thank you kindly. Kind of dig that necklace he's wearing. Not a big jewelry guy, but uh, I still appreciate things. I'm just going to let this run all the rest of the way through. It's not very, like I said, it's not very long. Look at that. Look at that booty. Anyways, so that was good. I like that. And I previously mentioned in my first video that 10 days left to go it is now nine days left to go. Technical difficulties. But let's take a look at the campaign, shall we? So here's another scene. Or a related scene, I should say, to the opening art that they had on here. And actually, they show that picture uh, or that panel later on down the page. And it's for mature audiences only, apparently. How much that is true, I, I assume it's the graphic nature of the work because it's a graphic novel. And we may click on some of these links, but I just want to kind of scroll down through here. So here's a kind of a little bit of a, I believe this is a backstory. Yeah, backstory on the of the universe. 
So let's see here. Our universe is fractured into the four horsemen's sick whims, a cracked mirror of sentient life's deepest lusts and fears made manifest in excess. Huh. Sounds like real life. Earth is a reservation kept safe by a corrupt alien government trying to maintain its fascist control over what gal free galaxy is left by any means necessary. Humanity cat lives, cowers, and makes do alongside alien refugees and pilgrims behind the impenetrable walls of new Deadwood. When reality belongs to evil, heroes are inevitable. Hmm. Short and sweet. I kind of dig it like this art here this also this sort of kind of reminds me of a uh, colossus in a way from the x-men and then this is some information on the creators and then we're back to the character or we're down here to the primary character of the book the protagonist if you will Eh, it's kind of weird that this is split up funny work it's almost kind of eh, sort of like we're flip-flopping back and forth here this sort of breaks the the continuity i would think this would be long more something like uh faq or just a quick snippet about the uh, creators of the book along with their contact information maybe I would actually probably put that up here honestly but this art looks really cool I like this kind of you get a uh, the idea that they're certainly in a little bit of uh, peril here that's a lot of TNT and then what we, okay and see and then this is more information on the it's kind of the direction that they're going again I, I would like I don't really like when stuff is all broken apart I really it's almost like you're telling me a story <laughs> already even though I haven't read the book I really don't like that disjointedness and that may just be personal preference look at this I really I, I keep staring at this picture too this is a really nice one I like the look of this and I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of. Something that I've seen before. There's actually this guy on... Uh, I saw him. He was on the History Channel before. And he used to do a show called Really Big Swords. If anybody ever saw it. His, uh, he's on YouTube, actually. It's uh, Cthulhu Mike, I believe is his handle on YouTube. Anyway, really interesting guy. He's up in the northeastern part of the United States. He's in... Where is he exactly? I know he's in the Northeast. I forget exactly what state he's in. Uh, it might even be... Is it Martha's Vineyard or close to Martha's Vineyard? I know it's something like that. I could be totally wrong about that. But anyway, uh, I would check out his YouTube videos. Interesting guy. And if you can see the episodes of the uh, show that he did, it, it's worth a look. But anyway, back to Jack Irons, which is the purpose of uh, this video, of course. And then this is more creator information. And I do dig this. This is, another, like I said, the panels that they've chosen to include here, I don't think there's any panel that they've put in the campaign that I didn't like. Okay, and see here, we're back again, and we're just going back and forth, and I just, eh. It's not a deal breaker. I just, I, I don't personally care for it. I'm really interested in the campaign. I really want to know what the, why, why do I want to buy this book? That's what I would really want to see. The other information, if I really want to know, I'll look for it. And like I said, you could really just go and do like a little blurb at the top and that would be enough. And actually, I don't have cursor capture on, do I? No, I don't. So you can't even see me pointing. I forgot I turned it off yesterday because I was testing something. But yeah, anyways, I think that should go at the top. This is a really cool panel, though. I really dig this panel. These robotic horses, I assume they're robotic horses. That's cool.
And I like the way that they did the, I guess, what would traditionally be word bubbles. I like that they're that they're a little rough around the edges. And I mean, because that kind of fits the style, in my opinion, because it is a space western. Ooh, that's cool. And I guess I'm not really sure who this is. Looks sort of like a shaman. If I didn't know better. But just look at these. Look at these colors in the art. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I guess I could probably... Blow that up a little bit so you can read the... Actually read what's in the dialogue. But I like the subtle uh, details here, like the little the the glinting of the sun off of the blade, and then uh, I assume this is going to be a, a wedding a wedding band. But it's just the lighting is is where I would expect it to be, and then you have the reflection off off of the blade onto his hand. That's cool. And there's a fair amount of detail in this bandaging that's on his uh, forearm. I like that. Oh, this is cool. It's very dystopian looking. Oh, this is even more dystopian looking. Wow. Man, look at this panel. There's a lot of action there. That's cool. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is the same character we saw earlier. I think this is somebody else. I don't think that's the shaman because I don't see the headdress. Oh, so this totem pole is uh, some sort of a weapon. Is that what's going on here? And I forget the name. I forget the exact name for it, but I know there's a th thing where they uh, have it where you can show motion. Uh, the bang bang. Uh, it's not horrible. I mean, I get it. But they're like a. Uh, I think they're called. I don't think they're called motion lines. I think they're called something else. I could. I'd be wrong about that. I, that's kind of more what I've expected expect to see here kind of like this right here where you can see where it has where it's showing the motion where he's raising the he's raising his uh weapon to bear on his target this is a cool panel too i like this and i have no idea who these characters are. i'm not even sure if the even tells you who the characters are oh this is cool this is a good close-up. I'm just still trying to figure out where that beam came from. I'm assuming it came from this totem pole. Which is not really a totem pole at all. It's actually a weapon of sorts. Oh, that's nice. Where are we at? Oh, we're already running 13 minutes. I'm already blabbing too long. <laughs> but there's a lot to scroll through here. To be fair, and that's something we're actually going to talk about here in just a moment. So delivery estimate, risks, epilogue. Yeah, see, all, all this is stuff like here, this delivery estimate, the risk and stuff. That could all be, to me, that could be put in FAQ. And again, this compact uh, contact information along with a little bit of information on the creators that's, you know, concise and you know just kind of keep it clean and then just slap that at the top and then uh, this is kind of one of my biggest pet peeves with campaigns is that they put the art they hide the art at the bottom i mean just look at all this uh scrolling and as much as people use mobile devices these days especially phones even if you have a big phone like a like a note or whatever you're still gonna have to do a fair bit of scrolling and then you see some information scattered uh, throughout here. Here's a link to the website, and and again, I would just keep it clean. I put it at the 
at the top. Do your little, you know, summation here at the top. You know, you're just real, you know, straightforward. You know, who you are, basically your name. If you want to do like maybe a little two, three sentence blurb uh, about the creators on the project, I don't think that's, you know, too, I don't want to say intrusive, but I don't think it's excessive. And then immediately I would break in and I would start uh, doing the art and then you could mix some of the elements of if you were alternating what the story is, what the, uh, what you're doing, what the, describing the universe. If you were to, you know, intermingle that with the art, like in between panels, that would be really cool. And it would keep the your audience focused on the on the project and really I mean I still like the look of the project anyway I mean that's that's cool but again on a mobile device especially that's a lot to scroll through to kind of get to the meat of the project here so that might be something you want to keep in mind on the next one I know uh, this isn't the first project they've done so you know Take that for, for what you will. I mean, I don't know how successful they've been in the past or haven't, and that's really not the point here. Let's see here. So they have 21 backers, and let's just take a look at the ways that we can support. So $10 without a reward. Uh, help us continue to forge the best, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to assume this is also just support. I'm not going to click on everything. I hate that that highlights weird like that. That's okay though. Let's see. $10 or more uh, for digital. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I, I'm not a big fan of the digital person. I like the books. I'm, I grew up with floppies and, you know, the stuff was on newsprint. So I'm not too finicky when it comes to things, but I, I like the actual physical books. Now, 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, I've seen the art. I have an idea of what this, you know, the direction in which you're moving this story and the, there's a lot of information conveyed in the panels, in my opinion, enough for me to, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Honestly, from what I've seen so far, I, I dig it. I, I'm in. I don't know. Let's see here. I don't want to go too far on here. So what does this do? This doesn't really. Okay. So this doesn't really give me any more information. I don't know if this is just a, okay. Five times six, nine. I'm not really sure. I'm not clear on that. I don't think that means five, 96 hard uh, 596 page hardcover books I suppose it could I may follow up on this a little later or maybe if I have a chance to Cody's not too busy I might ask him let me see does it say down here I wouldn't that that seems a bit that seems a bit a little bit light on the price in my opinion for that if that's what that is I don't think this is horrible right here. 30 bucks for 96 pages. I mean, that's a lot of art. And I assume it's one, all three. Uh, yep. Yeah. So this is a single hardcover. Man, I bet the thing's going to be beautiful. Let's see. Toss in a whole slew of digital extras, including high quality PDFs of all three issues, as well as collected PDF music. Uh. I would probably like to see more like kind of stick with bullet points here. I don't know if you necessarily need to go through all that. I mean, cause you have 96 pages right here and then you have 96 pages down here again. So, I mean, you could do just, you know, 196, you know, what's included is one, you know, that the hardcover is, you know, 96 pages. Basically, it's one book. It says hardcover up here, not hardcovers, but eh, maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky about that, but at least they don't have a bazillion campaign, uh, uh, 
not campaigns. Uh, gosh, I'm trying to think. I'm lost of here what they're calling these, but you don't have a million selections to make here, so that's nice. But yeah, no, I'm in. I'm in. I would put this one at the top personally. This one right here, this thirty dollar or more. I suspect this is probably the one that you would sell the most of. It's like the, it's like the deal of the day, if you will. Thirty bucks for ninety six uh, page hardcover. Yeah, if it's even remotely the quality the they've shown on the campaign, yeah, that's a deal. But anyways, I am already. 20 minutes in so i'm not gonna go too much longer but if you've made it this far i certainly appreciate you uh hanging in there with me and hopefully you if anybody bothers to watch this video you watch it all the way through um and if you wouldn't mind you, you can find my contact information in the description below so if you would like to support me please subscribe to the channel uh, here or on odyssey or both if you prefer if you want to see the other endeavors in which i engage you can check that out in the description as well but in next time until next time happy reading